हेलो आज के वीडियो में हम इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स के ऊपर एक क्वेश्चन करेंगे क्वेश्चन आपके थ्री डायमेंशन में देखने की एबिलिटी को टेस्ट करेगा और साथ में तो रूटीन से कैलकुलेशंस जो आपने कई बार किए हैं उनको आप परफेक्शन के साथ एग्जीक्यूट कर पाते हैं कि नहीं इसको भी टेस्ट करेंगे आइए समझते हैं हमारा आज का क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन कुछ ऐसा है कि देर आर टू लॉन्ग थिन इंसुलेटिंग रॉड्स एंड ईच कैरीज ए यूनिफॉर्म लीनियर चार्ज डेंसिटी लैमडा लैमडा कूलम पर मीटर लेंथ दे लाई इन परपेंडिकुलर डायरेक्शन एट ए डिस्टेंस डी बिटवीन वन अनदर फाइंड दी फोर्स ऑफ रिपल्शन बिटवीन दम द टू रॉड्स आर प्लेस लाइक दिस देर इज अ सेपरेशन डी बिटवीन दम परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दी टू रॉड्स इज डी one is going like this the white one and the blue one is going like this it is horizontal let us say this is vertical and the separation is d each of the two rods has a linear charge density of lambda you have to write the force experienced by one of these two rods due to the electric field produced by the other rod give it a try before you have a look at my solution ah uh, well let me proceed with my solution uh for the simplicity uh, what i have done is i have shown this vertical rod here in the board the white colored rod and the blue one is going like this into the plane of the board i have just drawn the cross section of the rod it carries a linear charge density lambda so is this rod also this rod is also carrying the same linear charge density lambda now what i am going to do is i will assume this to this charge to be the source charge and i will try to write electric field produced because of this charge and then i will try to calculate how much force that electric field is exerting on this particular rod if you have got enough hint this is the right movement you can pause now give it a try on your own well uh, as told to us in the question this distance is d this perpendicular distance right now let us consider uh, a point at a distance x from this point on this white rod this distance is x let us this distance how much electric field do you think this rod will be producing at this point can you write that i hope yes <laughs> i hope i guess that you will be able to write it this is an infinite line charge right and because of this infinite line charge everywhere the field is radial and it depends on distance of the point from the line charge if the distance is r you all know from what you have studied in application of gauss law you all know that the field is lambda by 2 pi epsilon not r so this distance is basically what i am calling as r so i i am assuming that you all be able to write the field over here okay so this is the field its strength e can be written thodi der se likhta hu what i am going to do is at this position i will consider a small length dx of the white rod very small infinitesimally small ड्रॉइंग साफ बने इसलिए इतना बड़ा बनाया अदरवाइज दिस इज इनफाइनाइटिसिमली स्मॉल सो आई विल ट्राई टू राइट द फोर्स एक्सपीरियंस बाय दिस इनफाइनाइटिसिमली स्मॉल एलिमेंट ऑन द व्हाइट रॉड बिकॉज ऑफ द फील्ड प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय दिस रॉड एट दिस पॉइंट ओके एंड देन आई विल ऐड ऑल द फोर्सेस लेट अस सी व्हाट हैपेंस फर्स्ट द फील्ड द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द फील्ड विल बी लैम्डा बाय 2 पाई एप्सिलॉन नॉट r r बीइंग दिस डिस्टेंस it will be better to express everything in terms of this angle theta let me write this as theta and the element that we are considering here let us say this element has an angular width of d theta okay i hope you all are understanding now let us try to write the force experienced by this element this element because of the field produced by this charged rod obviously obviously the force will be um, nothing very complicated electric field into charge and the direction of force will be this direction only the direction 
in which this blue colored charge will experience force d f will be in this direction only that blue colored element is infinitesimally small it is just like a dot it is just like a point so the field lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught r into the charge charge on that element of length dx will be lambda dx but as all of you must have guessed by now that we should be interested in this horizontal component of force only because if you take a similar element here then force because of this line charge on this particular element will go in this direction and as one can see the vertical component of these two forces will cancel out in pair we can have similar looking elements at similar distance from this point and the vertical components will cancel out therefore we conclude that we should be interested only in finding the horizontal component of this force let me call this as x direction and the horizontal component as dfx so this is what i have written here dfx is nothing but the horizontal component of this force this angle being theta it is df cos theta let me explain it once again electric field due to this line charge infinite line charge at a distance r is radial and uh, its magnitude is lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught r we have considered a very small element of length dx over here so uh, charge on that element will be lambda dx and the force that the element will be experiencing because of electric field created by this line charge will be electric field into charge and then we are taking this horizontal component of the force so force into cos theta right so what i am going to do is i am going to add all these horizontal components of forces acting on various elements of this white rod so before i can actually add that means before i can actually integrate i have to ensure that everything here is expressed in terms of a single variable the variable that we can choose could be either x or it can be theta let me take theta as my variable so what i need to do is i need to write everything like small r dx everything in terms of theta how do i do that very simple looking into this triangle you can see that r is nothing but d by cos theta right can you see that and then you can also see that this x is rather x by d is tan theta so x is d tan theta if you differentiate the last equation dx by d theta will be d6 square theta dx by d theta is d6 square theta so i write it like this dx is equal to d6 square theta d theta so your job is done now you can write dx as d times 6 square theta d theta and you can write r as d by cos theta let us do this substitution so here is the expression after necessary substitution in place of r i have written d by cos theta right in place of dx i have written d6 square theta d theta so you can see this cos theta cos theta cos square theta 6 square theta cancels out this lambda lambda becomes lambda square this d d cancels out very interesting so the expression for fx dfx becomes actually lambda square 2 pi epsilon not d theta and to add all these dfx on every element we need to integrate and inside the integration we are just left with d theta everything else is constant so if you just want to write uh, force on elements starting from here and going up to infinity you will have to do integration from 0 to pi by 2 from common sense whatever force this half part is experiencing the lower half part will experience same force so we can multiply this by 2 so if you integrate from 0 to pi by 2 you have to multiply the whole thing by 2 otherwise what you can do is you can integrate from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 i am assuming that you all understand why the final value of theta is limiting value of theta is actually pi by 2 as you go on 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 increasing theta you are getting elements of the rod all over uh, at far away distance i mean so the ultimate value of theta can be pi by 2 where you will get 
one element of the rod which is actually at infinity. I mean, nobody knows how far it is. It is just far, far, far away beyond our imagination. So, this whole f x is lambda square by 2 epsilon naught. Interesting thing is does not depend on t. <laughs> yes, this result is valid as long as the two rods, charge rods are of infinite length. That means, they are very long compared to separation between them in such case. Yes, the force between them will be literally independent of t. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you really enjoyed it, do not forget to like the video. Thank you. See you in the next video.